Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I'm a little cosplay and today we built Tom Bombadil. Let's go! I'm starting by unsleeving Frodo Sauron's Bane deck that I just made. I don't like it as much as I thought I would. If I could fix it, I would probably put more cards that would make Frodo unblockable. It definitely needs more temptation cards to make it faster. I'm setting aside a pile of cards that I'm going to use for the next deck, so I'm not going to sleeve them just yet. I set aside 5 basic white and black lands and I unsleeved the rest. From all the dual lands I saved just one. The other cards that I saved are basically some draw engines, a soul ring and a couple of creatures. I think there's a board wipe in there too. When Bombadil got unveiled in the spoilers, I got so excited, I went through all of my binders and I took out all the sagas that I could possibly find. These are them. I haven't even read them all. And here I'm just separating them into colors. After reading a couple of the sagas, they just didn't make the cut. They were way too specific to instants or sorceries or artifacts and I just don't have that many in that deck so I just didn't put them in. And here are the ones that made the first cut of the deck. Lunchtime. From return to graveyard to stealing creature, plus one plus one counters, or giving me tokens or mana, these sagas can do anything. Honestly, this is going to be an insanely crazy deck. It, it would just do a little bit of everything. Now I'm pretty sure the Lord of the Rings set also had a few sagas that I just kind of put into my binder so I go to look for them.
A random class and a saga I also found in a binder. Still searching for more sagas. I know I have some more. Where are they? There they are. Yes. Another! They are all so beautiful. One of them has a surprise board wipe in there. And now I'm searching for some dual lands. After testing this deck a few times, I might actually put more dual lands in there because my sole goal is to get Bombadil out and I need to collect all five colors as quickly as I can. If I end up loving this deck, I'm definitely going to invest in a few more expensive sagas. Just leaving those basic lands. So this is my precious enchantment slash life gain slash token deck. I am definitely harvesting a few cards out of here just for now. If I end up loving the Bombadil deck, I will buy those cards for that deck as well. If I don't, I'll just return those cards to my uh, enchantment deck. I can't play it for a while now, oh my god! Here I've harvested a couple of creatures that reduce the cost, a couple of return all enchantments from the graveyard to the battlefield or to my hand, a couple of creatures that do card draw whenever an enchantment is played. Here are some last minute replacements and I also snuck in there a counter spell and a fog. But thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more random nerdy content from me. Please tell me what other sagas you would add to this deck. I would love to hear your opinions. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.